Hi Taurus, it's Tuesday's Tara. Thank you for tuning in. Let's do your reading. Uh, this is just pre-shuffle, but I just was like, wow, check this out. Looks like big money coming, um, six of pentacles, but it kind of feels like there's a warning with it. Like, um, I don't know, it, it looks like something you've manifested, but there, it, this fool in reverse, I don't know. It's, uh, we'll see. But anyway, you've got big money coming, something you've really been wanting. But I feel like there's a hiccup in like how to handle it. Maybe it's overspending. I don't know. We'll see. But I just wanted to show you all that. Also, look what I have. I pulled the romance angels. Um, so a lot of my readings have not been, um, you know, love lately. They've been more about protecting yourself and personal growth. And so I pulled a couple love decks just so we can, um, in case that it's they're not really focused on love, and I know so many of you want that, I just pulled some love decks that we can pull a card from at the end. So hold on, oh, stay tuned for that. So we've got Knight of Wands, okay? So it could be a player. Knight of Wands is a knight that comes and goes. Sometimes he, it's like, look at the foot. Sorry, I'm gonna do nothing so it'll focus. Okay, or not. Hold on. Sorry, babies. Okay, Knight of Wands. What's happening? There. Knight of Wands. So he rushes in, but then he's got the foot. <laughs> it's like, come, go, start, stop. Okay. Hi, Lucy. You wanna come up here? I don't know, do y'all want me to put Lucy up here? She's so stinking cute. Aw, hi baby. I don't know, I might do that. Um, okay, so, Knight of Wands. That's current energy, Knight of Wands, something coming in fast, furious. But, like, there's something dark with it, too. I'm feeling like a warning or something. Hmm, either that or it's something unseen. But the moon is, you know, some typically it's a things that can't be seen. King of Cups. Hmm. Marriage or a commitment. Somebody in a high high status or somebody that, you know, can give advice. Ooh, counseling. Some of you counseling. Always a good well, not every counselor is great, but I I'm a big fan of counseling, I think, for the at all um, it's very beneficial. And they're, you know, I mean, they're, they're educated. They know stuff that we can only ponder. So the hermit card. Wow. The hermit is somebody that goes off. This is, my animals are kind of going crazy. Did y'all hear that? That was Kelly. Hi, Kelly. Hi. Hi. She was on the table in, the, in um, one of my recent videos. Okay, the hermit card. That's, I'm feeling like that's isolation. I don't like that. I don't like the way this hermit card is feeling. But the hermit card is typically... Hi. Callie wants to come up. Callie, you can't mess up my stuff. She's she's going to try and knock over my iPod. I mean, my tripod. Okay, no. Um, death. I feel like death is looming, an ending is looming. This has got more pulling from it than I'm getting so far. Okay, so there's conflict, a lot of bickering, many, maybe petty bickering, maybe competition, maybe family fighting. Five of Wands. Four of Cups, missed opportunity or daydreaming. Hmm, Ten of Cups, beautiful. Abundance, love, happy family, you know. Ten of Cups is success, fulfillment, typically in love. And here's inherit. It's a, it seems like an, oh, 444 four, four when I looked at the clock. It seems like an inheritance, maybe. Um, this is pulling marriage for me right now, it's not, you know, it doesn't always, but it is pulling some strong marriage 
or priest family energy what is that though okay let's just get some clarifiers progress moving forward hard work focused attention painful ending because people getting hurt i feel like you have a warning wow walking away Ooh. We've got the tower, we have six of wands, that's the victory success, but it comes from a tower. So something difficult happens. Page of swords, that's our spy card. Like somebody watching, waiting, and then we have this 10, um, eight of cups at the bottom of the deck, which is leaving a situation. So somebody's gonna pop, like show up that you are, unex that's unexpected. I'm feeling money. Mm. Tell me about this hermit. Why is this hermit pulling so much energy? There's a really strong need across the board for people to talk to others and be um, honest about like stuff they're dealing with. There's a strong message coming through right now um, that's just like, don't isolate, don't hide behind closed doors because you're embarrassed, something like that. There's a lot of, it's like coming through in the last several readings where it's like, a, People, like uh, people are feeling the need to pre keep up an image so they're not reaching out to their friends and they're like, oh, I'll just catch up later once I get this under control. But that's a like a bad, that's a mistake because that friendship is going to be what, those friendships and those support systems is going to be what helps you get through whatever you're embarrassed about or um, that's causing you to kind of isolate and whether it's weight gain or not feeling well or a breakup or sadness or sickness or whatever, across the board, I'm getting a strong, a strong message to encourage you guys not to isolate and not to suppress and try to handle things, difficult things by yourself. So we have a husband, um, maybe a father, somebody in control here. And then we have the lover's card, which is a decision. And then we have another husband card. I mean, the King of Pentacles is somebody with money. So I definitely feel in either inheritance or big unexpected money coming. Hmm. I'm kind of feeling like a tower after. Oh, my gosh. I just was saying tower as, <laughs> as it flew up in the air. I'm feeling a tower but I feel like a tower is happening. The success or the victory comes, but there's a big tower and difficulty first. Like there were there. This is a reward. I really think you need um, support and to share, like um, to share. Um, your concerns with others to protect yourself yeah I feel like there's a need to protect yourself Why? yeah like to even block somebody from the past um, hmm, let me pull this deck that I use for money I just call it a money deck it's not a money deck I just has always, the pentacles are just scream at me on this deck, so I always, um, I've just always liked using it for money readings. So, seven of wands, and seven of swords so you've gonna this is a like I don't, this okay i didn't i was trying not to say it but this is screaming warning it looks like you've got unexpected 
either an unexpected return, something you cannot see. But it also looks like big money. There's difficulty before a payout or a payoff. And then, but there's a, this something screaming here to block something toxic. Maybe somebody is, uh, is going to come in. Like, maybe it's a person. I mean, I guess that does make sense. If you're if you come into big money, then there might be somebody, a tr some trickery involved. Yeah, there's like the judgment card is there. Often it's a second chance, but it's also a karmic card. You know, what's the judgment card? Hmm. I think whatever this is that's happening, this difficult situation, it's somebody's going to unexpectedly return, but there's a big warning with it. If you're come, if you come into a bunch of money, it probably has to do with money. What is that judgment card? So this is like friendships. And this Queen of Swords is somebody who is aware. She's direct and deliberate, but look, she's ready to cut something, someone. Maybe some, you, I feel like you've got a warning about money. You've got big money coming in, but there's a warning too. And there's someone toxic in the, in the mix. So for sure, for sure, don't isolate. Don't keep things that are embarrassing. I'm not saying don't tell your secrets to somebody that's not in, that's not the appropriate person. I mean, be careful who you trust, especially this person. There's somebody toxic here. Yeah, that's gonna return. But I think it's a pretender. There's that Prince of Swords again. It's calculated. You've got a return. you got big money and a return, but a warning with that return. Okay. Let's pull them. Um, where'd my romance angels go? Here they are. Sorry, that's not a very happy read. Well, I mean, I guess it is. Tell me more about um, love for Taurus. Somebody wants a second chance after an, a, a death or an ending. Romantic feelings. Your romantic feelings are real and worth exploring. Hmm. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. What else are we pulling? We are pulling an angel message and then a process card. I mean, this really implies there is someone new or there is someone. Um, I mean, it looks like there's options. There's someone besides someone. You've got to just got to be careful. This is like somebody will work really hard and not care who they hurt to get what they want. Seeding the light, laying foundations, a divine plan. I think there's like a lesson here for you. I feel like there's like a lesson here like be careful because it's like a test I, it's like there's some sort of trickery or test and I don't like ever thinking that we're being tested but I mean maybe just kind of like a harsh way to say it let me get a process for you guys 
Oh, let me get an alchemy card. The readings are kind of um, repetitive. Like a lot of trickery, a lot of like um, self absorbed, only looking out for yourself. There's somebody here that's going to try and. Like I buddy up to you or something that is be careful. Just be careful. Okay, so judge. Balance this is like the Libra the judge justice. Balancing justice and compassion is the high side of it. Managing fair distribution of power. But see, these scales are uneven. And then the shadow attribute is offering only destructive criticism. So be careful um, with that. Missing business, misusing business, legal, or criminal authority. Oof. Oh, that's a sign. That's a hint for you. So the person that you need to watch out for is somebody that um, misuses business, legal, or criminal authority. That's just like a sign or a look into their character or something like that for you to know. Let's do one more. Grandmother. What is happening with you, Tor? Well, you got money coming. Seeker, thirst for wisdom and truth wherever they are, inability to commit to a path once found. I also feel like the person that you need to watch out for is a bit of a chameleon um, shapeshifter. They change um, personalities to fit the situation. And we did have another sign of like leaving a path of destruction. Releasing what is potentially destructive, preparing for a new life. Again, it's like an ego trip or somebody that has a big ego. Intoxication with destructive power, destroying others' dreams or potential. Somebody just that just looks out as themselves for themselves. Okay. Um, I feel like this is somebody who pretends they don't care so much, but they they stay they 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 get information by just kind of acting nonchalant, like just you know, shooting the you know what, or keeping the conversation light, but all that information that they're getting is actually things that you, that, you know, could be helping them later take advantage or work against you somehow. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept a, the current situation, you will automatically transform. I feel like you know you're going to know. You're going to have a red flag um, about this. I want to see what's coming in love. What's coming in love for Taurus? Queen of Wands. There's going to be a lot of passion. Somebody very in, um, enticing. Three of Swords. Yeah, you got a player coming. So let's look at that. Ten of Cups, though. That's a good thing. Knight of Cups. Okay, this is good, actually. So you probably have someone else, somebody you don't expect coming in. Um, be careful. Be also, I know I've said that a hundred times. Also, be careful because this person that's not out, that's not for real. You're going to have signs, and if you ignore them, you could miss out on this other person. You know what I mean? If we spend our time with the wrong person, we don't have space for the other person. Six wands. Wow. This is Ten of Cups and Six of Wands. There is somebody that you're going to be very successful with in love.
but you got to cut out the negative. Yep. Look at that. Jeez, the hermit. And it's somebody that you have a yucky feeling about. Look at that six of pentacles. Again, and like money coming, generosity. Just dig deep. Don't be afraid to ask questions and dig deep. This person, I think you'll be able to tell that there's... Oh, I'm sorry, you guys. This is Queen of Swords, Six of Wands. But you got to cut out... I don't know. This is death again. Queen of Swords, Sword Up, Hermit. I just feel like the person that's negative is going to be very, is somebody that's inconsistent, puts a smile on their face, but then screams at their dog or kicks their dog when they, <laughs> when they hang up with you, something like that, you know, something creepy, something creepy. Just ask questions. So when you keep repeating past event, this is it. I, I knew it. You guys are something. Did I say it? I don't think I said it. Okay. Let me get this to focus. When you keep repeating past events and past mistakes in your mind, you bring your energy down. Say to yourself, I forgive you. This is your process. This is your assignment. I forgive you. I did the best I could with the information I had at the time. And take a deep breath. So when we don't admit it, we just repeat it. So it is good to face it and accept it. Not to pretend it didn't happen. But that's how you learn and not repeat it. I don't know why I can't seem to let you guys go just don't like that. This is due diligence. Unless you're a witch and ride a broom. Chop wood means do the work. Do diligence. Don't trust somebody. Hmm. Be careful. That's, that's all I'm getting. Sorry, that's it. I guess that's enough. Love you guys. You got money coming and there's a warning here. You've got multiple people. You'll have options, but one could really try to come in strong and distract you from like, uh, there's some sort of player. Be careful. Okay. Y'all tell me in the comments if it makes sense. I love you guys. Bye Taurus.